guys and gals, how y'all doing out there today? Um, if you've watched my channel, you probably know that I love this knife. This is my favorite knife in my entire collection. Um, I've talked it to death. I don't want to talk about it much anymore, uh, other than to say it is a great knife for the money. The launch series are really great. Um, yeah. Well, for the longest time, I've wanted another one of the launch series knives. I wanted to maybe try the little tiny thing. I just don't have a use for it. Um, the new 7 is, it just doesn't do it for me, personally. Um, and honestly, the other designs, they just didn't do it. Except for this one. Uh, this is the Kershaw Launch 1. Initially, when I went to go buy my Launch 5, it was between this, this and the 5. Um, it really just was neck and neck. I think the Launch 5 just felt a little better in my hands at the time, at least. And personally, still does. Um, but still, very cool knife. If you're looking for the short version, um, I highly recommend it. Um, especially, it's an American-made auto knife that comes in under a hundred bucks. It's pretty hard to beat. Um, so let's just go through it and uh, see what you guys think. Um, it does have a flow-through lanyard hole. Uh, comes, you know, just right through here, uh, through the aluminum. Uh, it's kind of a cool feature. Um, personally, I think any lanyard on this knife would get in the way of because you know it's going to come up basically right here and it, it, it's going to be in the way and the, I don't think there's a comfortable way of putting it on here unless you have smaller hands. Um, that's just my opinion though. Um, a pocket clip that I don't feel belongs on this particular knife. Uh, just looking at the aesthetics, I'm going to fold it so I don't cut myself like I did the last time I tried to record this. Um, it, it just looks like it needs something different. Um, I can't really explain it. it just, it just doesn't fit for me. It doesn't hinder the knife. It's actually a great pocket clip. They're nice and sturdy. It just doesn't do it for me. Black anodized aluminum handle scales. Um, they are very slick, flat out. Um, the Launch 5 at least has some, um, you know, some cutting on there or some milling that allows some traction. Um, also a nice thumb ramp on the 5. This one doesn't have that. Um, this is not a knife I'm going to grab for defensive use uh, most of the time. Um, I definitely at least don't want to stab with it because there's a finger choil, but there's not much of one. And with how slick the scales are, I, I, I would be for, worried about sliding forward. Um, so yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. They did some intricate backspacing stuff uh, on a lot of the launch line, which I got to say, it does look, it looks nice. So, you got no problems there. Um, red uh, bullseye button just like the launch 5 and the other launch series knives um, it is nicely recessed and you don't really have to worry about it opening in your pocket um, this the launch 5 nor this one neither one has opened in my pocket ever um, so I have, I have no concerns at all now it does have the decorative pivot that uh, ZT actually uses a lot a lot of people don't like this pivot because it's it's actually a free spinning pivot um, I'm not a big fan of it, but I tell you what, this one is holding nice and steady. I haven't had to adjust it uh, since I got it home. It just needed a quick adjustment from the factory. Um, it's been holding great. I haven't even used Loctite, so no complaints about it at all. And now technically, it is a 3.375 inch blade. I think they measure from the, the tallest part of the handle to the tip, but it's basically a 3.5 inch blade. It has 3.5 inch cutting edge, um, and it is a har technically a harpoon shaped blade because of the little hump up there. It is a nice broad blade. I do like the broader blades like this, um, and it is it's a high flat grind, not a full flat grind, sorry. Um, high flat grind that, I gotta say, cuts very very well um, it took a very nice edge if yeah I don't think you'll be able to see too much you can kinda of see reflecting there uh, just like CPM 154 always does it took a takes a wonderful edge and uh, no complaints about it it's probably one of my favorite blade steels uh, and this thing with the blade stock being only point one two uh, no problems with this going through just about anything um, yeah, I mean, what can you say about it? It is a Kershaw Auto, made in the U.S., under 100 bucks. That in itself is impressive. Um, to get most auto, auto knives that at least I've seen, it's the lowest one that I can normally think of is about 150 and if all the way up to 500 to get a decent one. These are well beyond decent. These are great knives. These are great value. Um... Like I said, especially, I think I paid ninety five ninety five. I think, technically. With tax, technically, I went over 100 bucks. But, 
if you know the Launch 5 or any of the American Kershaw models, you're going to know this is this is a quality knife. Um, no complaints about it. Uh, I'll just show you a couple size comparisons and we'll get out of here. As always, Benchmade Griptilian full size. Um, has a definitely a similar length of blade. Um, this definitely has more cutting edge though. Um, handle length is right about the same, but this is this is quite a bit thinner, obviously, because the Griptilian is known to be pretty thick. Uh, yeah. And the Launch 5, just because I have it here. Um, technically, kind of similar blade length. You know what I mean. This is three, basically three and a half inches. This is a three and a three point four five inch blade, I think technically. Um, much shorter handle though, and like I said, no, not nearly as much grip. And just for fun, another ha aluminum handle. This is the Buck Marksman. Uh, it's gonna have right about, again, right about the same blade length. This is gonna be three and a half. Um, gonna definitely have a shorter handle, um, and it's also much bigger in hand than the. The marksman. I, by the way, if you're wondering about this, these are great. I'm going to be doing a review on these soon. Um, final thoughts on this: Go buy one. They make them in a bunch of different colors. Now go look on Blade HQ. Um, they, I know they at least do a purple, a red, and a blue. Um, I know they do a gray and a green as well. Actually, um, the Launch family, I gotta say, is the a knife family that I really want to stick around. These are great knives. I hope that Kershaw sees some of the reviews that have been on these knives and listens because these really are great. Thanks guys for watching. If you could please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff and you all have a good day, alright? Take care.